Hey everybody, Joe here with Candidate Movies. This time I'll be doing a um, television series review. Actually, it's an anime series review for a Netflix exclusive called Super Crooks. This came out in 2021. I certainly enjoyed it. It's 13 episodes long. And if you enjoy superhero movies, series, comic books, uh, and anime, this will be perfect for you. Um, so it is voice acted. So it's voiced by uh, Kenjiro Suda, Maya Sakamoto, Hiroshi Yanaka, Yasushi uh, Kimura, and so many more. And I have um, this. This story follows our main character, who is. Um, in high school and idolizing superheroes, which is something, you know, if we all lived in a, a society where superheroes existed, we would probably idolize them as well. But come to find out this young man has superpowers. So his superpowers are electricity based. And um, so he goes on trying to save the day, learn what it's like to be a superhero, those types of things. Things don't really turn out the way that he would like them to. Um, the girl that he's crushing on, um, his bully, things just don't go well um, without spoiling it. And so he turns to a life of crime. Now, come to find out, he does end up getting with the girl that he's crushing on, but spends a lot of time in jail. Um, the way that he does crime is super easy. Um, and so like he, you know, he ends up, um, being with the wrong crowd a lot and, and being, um, peer pressured into committing other crimes and things like that when he's supposed to be focused on rebuilding his life with his girlfriend. Um, and, uh, things just go awry with his friends his relationships, uh, what he calls his work. Um, and, uh, yeah. So super crooks means that these are not necessarily super villains. They're, you know, actually not that good at committing crime. They're not as great as committing crime as some of the other people that you're introduced to in the film. So these super crooks are a bunch of bumbling idiots and a lot of times it is very hilarious just to see them to try to get away with things but uh when i say things end up working out for them in the end they really do and um i'm hoping to get a second season of this if if the uh you know story wasn't wrapped up well i think that the story was wrapped up well but i still want to see more of what happens after that um and that's the great thing about character building also, I really like the animation style of this. It seems like they put in a lot of money into the graphics and everything like that as well. Um, it is a bit gory, so I can't necessarily uh, recommend this for anyone uh, that isn't a, of, of the mature audience side. But let me tell you, definitely go take a look at this one. Um, it's uh, a lot of things to see, uh, a lot of lessons to learn within the plot. That's one thing that I definitely do appreciate about, uh, you know, watching anime a lot of times is there's always a, uh, a deeper um, meaning or something that you can get out of it. So, um, yeah, definitely go take a look at this. I would uh, give this um, season of Super Crooks an A, and I hope that they continue coming out with more stuff. So. Again, I've been Joe with Canada to Movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. And I, um, you know, look forward to talking to you all down in the comments. Let me know what you all think. All right, and we'll talk later. Peace. Have a fantastic day.